the world, there are more than a thousand people intentionally burned with acid every year, and many times no one is held responsible. Nine on your side's Kristen Swilly joins us live now from Clifton with how one survivor is using her stories to help others. Kristen. Well, a Ugandan woman turned a horrific attack into her life's work. She did it with the help of someone right here in the tri state. It was December. 2011. And weaving together the story of Hanifa Nachioa. Three months after I quit an abusive marriage. You have to understand the pattern that is her past. I had to plead to be allowed to go out to work. And see her to know why the work she does today is so personal. She was picking up her daughters from her estranged husband. When I got to his house. There was a young man waiting for me there, and this is what I got there. He threw the content on my face. That day, she became one of many Ugandans, men and women, who have been attacked with acid. I was in burning hell. With few legal penalties for these attacks, her husband never served time in prison. In 2012, she founded Sarasov, the Center for Rehabilitation of Survivors of Acid and Burn Violence. Most people do not want to take a second look when they see that kind of face. Now she's helping survivors in Africa with a psychologist more than 7,000 miles away in Cincinnati. Their worlds woven together through another acid attack victim Nachioa met in the hospital. Sarasov now offers medical assistance, an interfaith prayer group, and financial independence. The women create jewelry and hand-sewed items like these to sell. And though there are loose ends to address in the fight against acid attacks. Knowing that actually a small group in Uganda has support from another group in Cincinnati speaks volumes. Nachioa worked with the Cincinnati psychologist. We mentioned in that piece to start a change.org petition. That wound up getting more than 279 thousand signatures, which eventually led to Uganda's president signing off on tougher legislation for acid attacks. Now, if you would like to meet Hanifa and support her and the other acid attack survivors, you can come here to Clifton Plaza Farmers Market from 5 to 8 this evening. Reporting live in Clifton this morning, Kristen Swilly, 9 on your side. Kristen.